Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the previous video, we learnt the preparation and standardization of 0.1 molar perchloric acid. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of pharmaceutical analysis, click on the links given in the description below this video. Also, answer the questions given in the community tab. In this lesson, we shall learn the estimation of sodium benzoate and epidrine hydrochloride using non-aqueous titrimetric method. Estimation of sodium benzoate Sodium benzoate has the molecular formula C7H5NaO2 and its molecular weight is 144.1. It occurs as a white crystalline or granular powder or flakes. It is slightly hygroscopic, freely soluble in water and sparingly soluble in alcohol. The dried powder contains not less than 99% of sodium benzoate. Sodium benzoate has antibacterial and antifungal properties. It is used as a preservative in pharmaceutical formulations including oral preparations in concentrations up to 0.5%. It is also a common ingredient of cough preparations. The chemicals required to perform estimation of sodium benzoate include sodium benzoate, glacial acetic acid, potassium hydrogen thalate, acetic anhydride, and crystal violet or 1 naphthol benzene indicator. The glassware include 50 ml burette, burette stand, 250 ml conical flask, 100 ml pipette, 250 ml beaker, 250 ml volumetric flask, funnel, glass rod, and wash bottle. The practical or lab work is divided into two parts. Number one, preparation and standardization of 0.1 molar perchloric acid, and number two, to perform the assay of sodium benzoate. Now, let's see the preparation and standardization of 0.1 normal perchloric acid. For the preparation of 0.1 normal perchloric acid, dissolve 8.5 ml of 72% perchloric acid in about 900 ml glacial acetic acid with vigorous and continuous stirring. Add about 30 ml acetic anhydride and make up the volume to 1000 ml that is 1 liter with glacial acetic acid and allow to stand for at least 24 hours before use. Acetic anhydride absorbs all the water from perchloric acid and glacial acetic acid and renders the solution virtually anhydrous. Perchloric acid must be well diluted with glacial acetic acid before adding acetic anhydride because the reaction between perchloric acid and acetic anhydride is explosive. Coming to the standardization of perchloric acid. Weigh accurately about 0.51 grams of potassium hydrogen thalate in a 100 ml conical flask and add 25 ml of glacial acetic acid and attach a reflex condenser attached with a silica gel drying tube. Prepared solution is 0.1 normal potassium hydrogen thalate. Warm the conical flask until all the potassium hydrogen thalate salt gets dissolved completely. Cool the solution and titrate with 0.1 normal perchloric acid by adding a few drops of 5% volume by volume crystal violet in glacial acetic acid as indicator. Color at the end point will be blue to bluish green. Calculate the actual normality of perchloric acid by using the formula N1V1 is equal to N2V2. Assay or percentage purity determination of sodium benzoate. Sodium benzoate is a salt derived from a weak acid and a strong base, so its aqueous solution is alkaline. Therefore, solutions containing sodium benzoate is assayed by 0.1 normal perchloric acid solution in an acid-base non-aqueous titration. Sodium benzoate can be estimated by the non-aqueous titration method in which it is dissolved in anhydrous glacial acetic acid which increases the strength of sodium benzoate which is a weak basic compound. Accurately weigh about 0.25 grams of sodium benzoate and dissolve in 20 ml of anhydrous glacial acetic acid. Heat the solution to 50 degrees if necessary and cool. Titrate the above solution with 0.1 normal standardized perchloric acid using 0.05 ml that is about 2 drops of crystal violet or 1 naphthol benzene solution as indicator. After titration, the solution changes its color from blue to bluish green. Carry out a blank determination and for blank determination, repeat the titration as directed above but without the presence of sodium benzoate sample. Equivalent factor is each ml of 0.1 normal perchloric acid is equivalent to 
0.0144 n grams of sodium benzoate. Percentage sodium benzoate is calculated by the formula XML into normality calculated into 0.01441 into 100 divided by normality given into the weight of the sample in grams, where XML is the volume of the titrant that is perchloric acid consumed at the end point. Normality calculated is the normality of the perchloric acid after standardization. Normality given is the point 0.1 normal that is a theoretical or expected normality of perchloric acid. The results are expressed as the percentage purity of the given sample of sodium benzoate found in the sample. Estimation of epidrine hydrochloride. Epidrine hydrochloride has the chemical formula C10H15NOHCl and it has the molecular weight 201.7. It contains not less than 99% and not more than 101% of epidrine hydrochloride calculated on the dried basis. Epidrine hydrochloride occurs as colorless crystals or white crystalline powder and it has no odor. It is affected by light. The chemicals required for the estimation of epidrine hydrochloride are epidrine hydrochloride, perchloric acid, mercuric acetate, methyl orange and acetone. The apparatus are same as mentioned in the estimation of sodium benzoate. The practical work for epidrine hydrochloride is divided into two parts. Number one, preparation and standardization of 0.1 normal perchloric acid. And number two, to perform the assay of epidrine hydrochloride. The method of preparation and standardization of 0.1 normal perchloric acid is same as discussed in the estimation of sodium benzoate. Assay of epidrine hydrochloride. The assay of epidrine hydrochloride is based on non-aqueous acid-based titration method. Accurately weigh about 0.17 grams of epidrine hydrochloride and dissolve in 10 ml of mercuric acetate solution. Heat the solution gently if necessary and cool. Titrate the solution with 0.1 normal standardized perchloric acid adding 2 drops of saturated solution of methyl orange in acetone as indicator. After titration, the solution changes its color to red. Carry out a blank determination. The equivalent factor is each ml of 0.1 normal perchloric acid is equivalent to 0.02017 grams of epidrine hydrochloride. Percentage purity of epidrine hydrochloride is calculated by using the formula XML into normality calculated into 0.02017 into 100 divided by the normality given into the weight of the sample in grams, where XML is the volume of the titrant that is perchloric acid consumed at the end point. Normality calculated is the normality of the perchloric acid after standardization and normality given is the 0.1 normal that is a theoretical or expected normality of perchloric acid. The results expressed as in the form of percentage purity of the given sample of epidrine hydrochloride. For both the experiments discussed above that is estimation of sodium benzoate and epidrine hydrochloride, the observations have to be recorded according to the tables given here for calculating the percentage purity of the drugs. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the estimation of sodium benzoate and epidrine hydrochloride. With this, we end the topic of non-aqueous titrations. In the next lesson, I will come up with a new topic. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.